remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Since everybody's so health conscious right now, I thought it appropriate for me to warn you guys about something nobody's talking about. It's like they've been given a cold or something. The politicians won't talk about it. The scientists won't talk about it. Doctors won't talk about it. Professors won't talk about it. None of these celebrities will speak on it, but I will. It's the most deadly form of the COVID-19 outbreak. Coronavirus. Coronavirus is a special strain of the virus used to describe individuals who carry it, who sell out their race for money, acceptance, and most often, buttermilk biscuits. It's important to note that like its antecedent coronavirus, coronavirus does not discriminate based on race, age, gender, or socioeconomic status. And while the list I'm about to give you is filled with people you've likely heard of, their supporters are also at risk. Charles Barkley makes the list because while he's a bozo the clown cross-dresser who can't seem to pick a side with his sexuality, he has no problem siding with the police when they kill unarmed innocent black boys. He said the jury got it right in the Trayvon Martin case and he sided with the officer who gunned down Michael Brown. Need I say more? Clarence Thomas, every day this dusty mop proves that black people in positions of power can be black people's worst enemies. From the highest court in the land, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas takes every chance he gets to rule against any law that could remotely have a positive impact on black people. Jason Whitlock, he's a self-loathing troll who loves money and hates any black person he thinks white folks might have a problem with. Colin Kaepernick, LeBron James, and Serena Williams are some of his favorite targets. Perhaps it's because they're accomplished athletes whose bodies allow them to do things that his body limits him to writing about. Candace Owens, give Candace a camera and she'll tap dance in blackface on cue, even if it means blatantly lying. Candace once had a struggling liberal website where she spent all of her time talking about racism in America. But after Fox News gave her a bag, she claimed she never had racial issues growing up. But she selectively forgot that while growing up, she and her family sued her high school for racial discrimination. But she loves running her raggedy mouth talking about how black people always plan the victim. Oprah Winfrey and Gail King. Let me just put it like this. They've never met a black man who didn't do it. Stephen A. Smith, from a basketball standpoint, his analysis are just plain retarded and his mediocrity is indeed worsened by his condescending and loud tendencies. From a civil standpoint, he loves regurgitating white supremacist talking points by making false equivalencies that never gets anyone white killed but provides a nice excuse for cops to shoot blacks. Donald Trump. Trump pulled a fast one on poor white people by making them feel special and filling their heads with lies, convincing them that he cared about them and everybody else was the enemy. Consequently, poor whites suffer today more than they did before the demander and thief was president. Ray Lewis. This buck dancer basically delivered a sermon that decried the surge in murders in Chicago one year while laying the blame solely on the Black Lives Matter movement, which he ignorantly insists doesn't care about such things. He's another one of Master's boys whose favorite pastime is trying to discredit and drag Colin Kaepernick's name. Fool fixed his mouth to say slavery was about togetherness. Kanye West. This super dummy said slavery was a choice. And have you seen the way he looks at Trump? The way he hugged and kissed him and said, I love you at the White House? I bet you if everybody in that Oval Office would have turned their heads and Trump said, all right, get on your knees, boy. I bet you he would have sucked them up. Steve Harvey, where do I start? Let's start with him cracking jokes about slavery to his white audience. He told Monique to choose money over integrity instead of crediting her for fighting for other women who are told to endure sexual harassment and assault in the workplace because it's the world we live in, he said. And let's not forget how he hated on Bernie Mac. 
The dude is foul. This trick married a chick who got smashed by two cousins. And every time somebody got something to say about him, what do he say? He starts talking about money. You know why? Because he ain't got nothing else. And now for the dishonorable mentions. Pastor Darrell Scott, Sheriff David Clark, Stacy Dash, Omarosa, Silk and Diamond, Kodak Black. Man, the list is long as hell. I might have to do a part two. Might have to do a part 30, hell. They got kids. Might have to get them sooner or later. Anyway, it's important to note this. Here's something that all of the coronavirus potentials have in common. They are quick to make negative generalizations about black people. They are quick to attack black people. But they will never do that to white people. I wonder why. No more talk. What, what the natives talking about? Yeah.